And I'd like to welcome Dr. Alexander Kirtner from SB Tech in Russia. Good morning to everybody. Uh, I'm happy to be here. And I'm also very impressed by the number of people who are interested in uh, nuclear technologies in uh, young generation. And uh, I want to a little bit change the direction of our discussion because uh, we call it uh, here as strategy and innovation. And uh, we see that uh, there are a lot of things which can be done in uh, nuclear as innovation process. And uh, one of the most things for the company development uh, in their strategies is diversification. And the examples which uh, has been presented by uh, the, our speakers with Cobble 60, with uh, mirror facility development, shown that uh, not only companies but also governments looking for the diversification of nuclear industry. And uh, in our SCOCO Foundation, I will tell some words about uh, this new formation in Russia, uh, we see that the diversification of the nuclear industry can give a lot for the future. What is uh, the SCOCO Foundation? Uh, we are the new foundation which was uh, initiated by Russian president in 2010 and uh, we were organized uh, by signing the federal law for SCOCO Innovation Center and to create a new science and technology city in the Moscow suburb. You see here the parameters of the city not large, uh, and the mission of the scope of this was formulated very clear is diversify the economy through the innovation and entrepreneurship. Uh, the idea of our president and government was very clear. Uh, we don't like to be only as a research, uh, resource uh, of mining for, for the world. We have very good uh, fundamental science and we want to be more success in the transfer of the scientific research to the technology development. Sorry. Uh, as was mentioned in all talks before, uh, one of the main points is development of the human capital uh, through the world-class research and development. And obviously we want to be uh, competitive uh, in knowledge-based companies in Russia. Uh, and uh, when we had the first discussion with uh, Russian nuclear leader uh, Rosatom and uh, the Director General of Rosatom, Mr. Kirienko, and with leaders of our country and foundation, uh, we understood that when we want to support the small and middle business and uh, try to be fast in innovation and technology transfer, uh, you could not uh, be very success in the nuclear energy because this industry is obviously very conservative and uh, financially capacity. So, uh, in the same time, uh, Rosatom Corporation looking for the so-called third nuclear of their business. The, we have two nucleus of the businesses, uh, defense and energy, and in the new strategy, Rosatom Corporation determined the third one, which, which is called radiation technologies. Obviously, the control of ionizing radiation was based on the knowledges uh, which were founded uh, during the research and development in nuclear. And using this uh, knowledge for the technologies are uh, now very famous. Everybody knows uh, nuclear medicine, but uh, not all of you know that the uh, ionizing radiation in different type of industries from IT to metallurgy and from, for example, uh, wire and cabling industry uh, to the uh, agriculture. And uh, 
to support the project and companies and in frame of our Skolkova Center, we have to, had to do uh, two, two important things. At first, prioritization, as was mentioned before, and the second thing is uh, finding the independent and transparent expert procedure. Uh, we have a very good uh, scientific council which help us uh, together with uh, international companies, to the, together with the research institutes, to find uh, the perspectives of the technology development in future. And uh, the focus of our cluster today is, as I mentioned, radiation technologies which are based on isotopes, accelerators, lasers, plasma sources, and magnetic fields. But also we are looking for the project in new pro in development new properties of materials, in uh, mechanical engineering instruments, and uh, new electronics development. Uh, and we are looking for the spin-offs from the nuclear science also. Uh, here, for understanding who we try to attract for, for the expertise uh, in our cluster, we have five clusters, five directions concerning the rule. Uh, law about the scope of IT, biomedical, and energy clusters are more or less the same around the world uh, in a, for all innovation centers. But we have two specific clusters uh, for the Russian industry it's nuclear and space clusters. And in our nuclear cluster, we try to attract uh, the people who have experience in development of the nuclear and radiation technologies around the world. It's Akademishin Velikov, uh, who's uh, very well known for uh, the nuclear people in the world. Uh, one of the members of our scientific council is former director of National Science Foundation and uh, National Institute of Standards, Professor Arden Bement. Uh, we have very good connection with International Atomic Energy Agency and a former vice president uh, Vice Director of the Agency is our scientific consultant. Uh, what we can tell about the development of uh, the radiation technologies and their applications, uh, we see that uh, not only medicine, which is uh, developing very fast, uh, 10 to 15 percent uh, per year, increasing the profits of the uh, uh, nuclear medicine, but also we uh, find the influence of the radiation technologies in a uh, security system and in food and water uh, radiation. And this type of industry is very well developed in the USA. Uh, and we want to uh, distribute the knowledge of uh, the American people to the uh, other parts of the world. About the ADS system, uh, Professor Van Wedler taught uh, very wide and broad. Uh, it is one of the possible developments which can be uh, done with uh, proton accelerators for the future energy. Uh, also, you can see that uh, the science don't stay on the uh, stable level and try to develop, but uh, the next projects take more and more financial resources from the governments and maybe we should go to, to the uh, to deeper to the technology and understand how to do uh, the large experience cheaper. Uh, what is uh, the areas and quantity of uses of radiation technology uh, around the world? Out of top 100 large and global uh, corporations, 20% uh, are consuming radiation technology products and services through their technological process. And markets where radiation technologies are quite comparable, large and intensive growing. Uh, what can be done for improvement of uh, the situation? Because uh, everybody understands that uh, we have a society uh, which is not very happy when we use uh, ionizing radiation, for example, for food radiation. But, uh, what is the driver for development of radiation technologies? And we think that uh, the very important thing is uh, 
development uh, reducing of prices of radiation technology equipment, which is absolutely necessary for the effective economy of this part of industry. Increases of uh, irradiation treatment accuracy, which is very important uh, not only for medical uh, purposes but also for security, and development of radiation technologies market. And uh, the, this development lies in the field of uh, the convergence of different industries, radiation technologies with different types of industries. Radiation technologies is not independent in this world, and we apply them uh, in uh, biotechnologies, for example, for improving uh, the energy efficiency of biofuel. We can apply it for microelectronics to uh, decrease uh, the dimensions of the chips and other than others. So, uh, what is the forecast for development of this type of nuclear industry? This part of nuclear industry. We see very uh, fast growing of diagnostic and visualization, but slowly but also very fast in other type uh, of application of radiation technology. Uh, the key trends to, for the development is convergence with biotechnologies, robotics, and processing technology metal processing or material processing technologies and these three uh, sectors of industries can give a lot for the new applications of radiation technologies. Uh, so uh, what can we do with our Sponco Foundation and with new radiation technology platform which was organized in Russia for the development of this type of technologies? We see that uh, we can uh, support the niche startups and try to organize the consortium for future development of different application of ionizing protection and uh, help people to find their place in the technological chains of the global leaders. And uh, we supporting our companies in Skolkovo not only by the information and organization, we are also providing them with grants and we help them to be international uh, and find their partners around the world. And I want to invite you to think about the third nuclear of nuclear industry and we will be happy to support your ideas and new companies developing radiation and nuclear technologies in the future. Thank you very much.